This is a coffee with Jess and Doug. Coffee. Coffee. I have my Bram Stoker Dracula's mug here, which, you know, is from the 90s, so I'm probably giving myself some lead poisoning right now. Mine's just blue. It holds two cups. I'm afraid to spill coffee on myself. It's hot. I just made it. It's fresh coffee. This man cannot walk around with a coffee mug without spilling coffee everywhere. True. True. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're having coffee and we're going to talk past, present, future. 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 I don't even really know what that means. I'm, we're willy nilly in it. Willy nilly in it. Also, it's going to get hot in here because I have to turn the air off whenever I uh, record because the vent's right there and our furnace is in the middle of the house and it's like a freaking jet engine. My shirt is from the past. <laughs> yeah, Black Death European tour, tour, tour. You know, I say the, I've noticed I say the word, the word, see, I can't even talk. Black Death. I say the word tour weird. Tour. 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 Why do tour. you say tour in your videos? Tour. Is it tour? Tour. 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 <laughs> To our past. What about the past do we want to talk about, babe? Origin stories. I had parents. <laughs> I also had parents. They, they birthed me. And I, they did or just your mother? I'm, I'm sure my dad was in the vicinity. Yeah. I don't really know, to be honest. I was born technically in Portland, but we lived in Jewel, which is an unincorporated zone between Astoria and Portland in the middle of the forest. We were there until I was six years old, I think. I was born like 15 miles that way. Yep. I'm guessing 15. Yeah. I 10 to 15? I consider Boise my hometown, but I wasn't actually born here. And then, yeah, you were born here. Our son was born here. Born my here. parents are from back east. As are my dad's family. Yeah. My parents were very interesting individuals. Speaking of my mother, I just got a tattoo of one of her drawings. Do, do, do. That's not past. What she was drawing was in the past. But the tattoo. Well, okay, that's present. I'm jumping ahead. I'm jumping ahead. <laughs> okay. Things happen over time. I was a very rebellious teenager. I noticed in like fifth or sixth grade that my interests were a little different from most of my friends. I, I had an attraction to like darker weird stuff. I grew up during the time where we just kind of left the house and as long as we were back by dinner they didn't really care where we were. Well yeah. Did a lot of playing in canals. Don't recommend. Yeah a lot of kids drown in clown in clowns. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we were in the safe canals though. Safe. Quote unquote, yeah, yeah, you could touch the bottom most of the whole way and it had dirt sides instead of like these concrete ones that are like super deep and swift. Ours was just, you know, everybody rope swinged into that shit back in the day. Until somebody cut the rope swing off. Yeah. You know, I had a sandbox growing up. That was super fun. I don't think kids play in sandboxes anymore. Um, well, it's hard to with all the neighborhood cats because they shit in it. What's senior you're saying? When I was a kid, there wasn't cats around? Well, I, I, I don't know. Now people are just more aware. I don't know. I wanted to say I played with my Ninja Turtles in my sandbox. But I'm not sure if I owned Ninja Turtles. I liked Raphael the most. And dinosaurs. I don't know why. Oh. I was just going to say, I don't know why, but for some reason, the quieter, reserved... Sometimes kind of angry people always <laughs> caught my attention. <laughs> Raphael was my favorite as well. Raphael was my favorite, and then I, obviously Michelangelo after that, because he's a funny fucking goofy dude. Wait, that's not Michael. Wait. Yeah. That is Michelangelo. It's been a while. You know, my least favorite was actually Donatello. Though I didn't really like Leonardo that much either. I didn't like dislike them. I just think we're not ones that I was like, we. I dressed up as Raphael for Halloween. I remember trying to dress up as a pr princess in fourth or fifth grade. I can't see it. No, uh, I didn't wear dresses and skirts and shit. And then I was like, I me mean, neither. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna be a princess, and my mom made a pink little dress. <sighs> Yeah, it was a pink, tight on top, kind of floofy bottomed princess dress for me to wear for Halloween. And I remember I, I was 
excited, but then like I went to school and nobody teased me, but I remember going in the bathroom totally embarrassed for myself. That still happens today. <laughs> <laughs> I have anxiety, okay? I have zero anxiety. Mine is like 99.9% .9 social anxiety. <laughs> yeah, I give no fucks. Super hyper self-aware of everything and then I get all like, am I being weird? <laughs> I've had people like really not like me for no reason. <laughs> it's so weird. And some people think I'm scary, but uh... RBF. Uh, again, RBF happening. Uh, oh, though I have to say, once I got comfortable around you, I open up and I'm like a total goof- I'm like a total fucking goofball. I am... Yeah. I'm a dork. I didn't have a problem Social talking anxieties. to anybody as long as it was like a friend basis, but like... As far as like romantic basis, I couldn't talk to anybody. I'd be like the class clown and everything and be joking and ha ha and funny funny, but like I would never ask anybody out. Present, present, the tattoo. <laughs> I plan on getting more tattoos. I don't got shit going on present. Presently, I got a new shirt because I have to wear t shirts to work. Most of the shirts I wear when it's hot out are sleeveless. And honestly, I don't like t-shirts. I don't like, I don't like the sleeves how, where they cut off on me. I gotta figure out how to like modify them. I sometimes I cut off the collar because I don't like the collars. Usually, if, if the shirt gets worn enough to where I don't wear it to work anymore, I cut off the collar and the sleeves. So it's just like this loose tank top thing. Currently, what? I am planning on getting a tattoo since, since Jess got one. It makes me really I know, and then I got one, and now I'm choosing. I haven't got a, a tattoo more. in ten years. Shit, long ass time. Been thinking about getting an industrial, but I probably won't. I have to. I have to re-pierce one I'm of my nipples because it'll be the third time I'm getting that nipple pierced. <laughs> ah. It was it was done crooked the second time, and that irritated me. But then it was also getting irritated, maybe because it was crooked. What are you into right now? I'm reading, reading some books, playing some Diablo. Music? Music? I'm always into music. Yeah, what music are you into right now? Currently, I'm deep diving a band called Priest. Oh, okay. But I'm super into a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah. Abney Park is one of my top fans. Here's top Russell. fans? Yeah. Bands, <laughs> yeah. Not bands. Bands. I'm a fan yeah. of the band. And the band is a fan of you. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Air Drosselmeyer's Doll is probably one of my all-time favorite songs ever. Oh, I, was, I thought you were saying a band name, and I was like, what? Who the fuck is that? No, it's, uh, <laughs> okay. it's an Abney Park song. Uh, I'm bad with band, uh, with song names now ever since Wumska, we've been streaming like and probably stuff. Probably my all-time favorite band. If I had a gun to my head and they had to choose one, because, I mean, you can't really choose one. No, no. But one Scott is definitely in my top five. I have a hard time. But he stopped making music. I have a hard time narrowing down bands. It's kind of a bummer. It's hard to pick favorites sometimes. Royksop. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Royksop. Um, I'm allowed to listen to music at work, so I listen to music for eight hours every day. Um, I've been listening to Kim Dracula and and song name Land of the Sun and the Bard's Last Note. I mean, obviously, Seventy Thorns and uh, the one with the music video with the you know. Don't look at me. I don't know your shit. They could be famous for murdering people. Still not having me. Um, I don't know how to say this band's name. Han Haunt or Haunte? Haunt? Wasting time. I always just like to look up how do you say and then type in a word so I can actually get it. Actually, I think I've done that with Roy Soft. So what was sure. the last full album that you listened to? Uh, one of Priest albums? Couldn't tell you oh, the yeah, because with Deep Diving, yeah, I think yeah. mine was one Kim Dracula's. Okay, before that. I listen to albums all the time. I, I actually it. have a harder time deep diving nowadays, but I, I've been trying to... So you're asking that. me what band I deep dive before them? Yeah, yeah. Nogueras. Oh, okay. She has a new album coming out in September! Can't wait. And before that, I was on a Cranberries kick. Yeah, I think, believe 2023, Royksop dropped three albums. Definitely listened to all three of those in order. Okay. TV shows, movies. Anything going on there? Oh, I'm watching the current season of Alone. I like wilderness. I like I like camping. So any wilderness 
Show them down for them. Binging Forged in Fire with our son. Rings of Power second season comes out in September, but I'll probably have to wait like... Damn, dude, you're more tapped in with that stuff than I I'll probably have to wait like 10 weeks before I actually start watching it, though, because I don't like watching... I don't like waiting a week. Shark yeah. Week just happened. I watch TV to kill time, because I am... I have a lot I've of I've been watching a lot of YouTube. I don't watch YouTube. And I started watching streams, because that's something I want to do, is I'm thinking about streaming... <laughs> Ross, get over there! I'm Shoot! Out I'm out of coffee. He's out of coffee. Yeah, I have barely been touching. Woo! Mine. Maybe I'll start cooling. Uh, down. And my coffee is decaf because I'm caffeine sensitive, like a little bitch. She's everything sensitive. Like a little bitch. <laughs> yep. What, what was I saying? I don't watch movies though. I do watch movies. The last movie I watched was some comedic vampire movie. I don't even remember what it was called, but it was actually kind of funny. I couldn't even remember the last movie I watched. Doug and I have kind of different tastes when it comes to TV shows and movies. <laughs> I hate all mystery, all horror, all suspense. Yeah, but I see I like those. If I had the money, I'd get into a lot of stuff. I would like to get into woodworking. I'd like to buy myself a wood lathe. I could totally get into blacksmithing. Every time I watch these Forged in Fire episodes, I'm just like, I want to make myself a knife. But just buying an anvil alone is expensive. Because the last time we were antiquing, remember, I mean, the last time, one of the times we were antiquing, we saw an anvil. Yeah, remember, yeah, Remember we I did. priced yeah, it, and yeah. I was just like, like seven hundred dollars or some Those crap. Those things are how? How would you even transport that? That shit's heavy. Well, you'd probably take a couple of people and you put it on a dolly, and then you take more couple of people and put it in the truck, and then we get home. And you stare. only have to move it once. No, you would get home and we both stare at it like, all right, it's stuck in the truck. <laughs> But I want to retry. I guess it's future trip. stuff now. I really want to go to Tasmania, but oh, man, I think that's going to be super expensive. Yeah, when we go to Ireland, I have to look for the churches that have Harry Clark stained glass windows. That's that's one of my goals because they've got some. He's one of my favorite artists, Harry Clark. He did pen and ink illustrations for like Edgar Allan Poe, but before that, he was a stained glass window artist, and his stained glass windows are really cool looking too, in my opinion. I'm looking forward to seeing some castles. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's what they do with the costumes, I think. I have no idea. The yepper, yep, yep, yep. Wait, is that from the Muppets? Muppets, no. Sounds like something from Sesame Street. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yep. I think you made this shit up. <laughs> no, I gotta show you now. I don't want to see it. No, you have to see. I think the pretty sure it's gonna make me stupider. Yep, yep. Oh, it is Sesame Street. See, I don't even know what this shit is. Of course it's Oh, they're Sesame the Martians. Street. They're the Martians. I don't want to see it. No, no. No, no, you, no you have to. You, you can't make to. me. The fuck? The yip yip thing. They're wooding. They're not yipping. Now they're chickens. Yep, 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 yep. There's the yip yips. I've never seen that before. Future wise, I'm gonna be trying to do some more shit. I know I keep saying stuff like that, but really it's a matter of I need to brainstorm ideas. That's I think one of my biggest problems right now is I just don't I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I I'm working I'm working on it. I'm working through it. I don't know. I'm just gonna start doing shit and then whatever whatever. Like this? Yeah, like this. <laughs> she dragged me in here and was like, we're going to talk. Yeah. I'm like, about what? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm winging it. I don't know, man. I mean, if you guys have suggestions, I'll totally take suggestions. Let me know and I'll totally try doing some of them, I'm sure. Maybe. Well, it depends on what it is. If somebody said, you know... <laughs> uh... Go. Cover yourself in paint running circles. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Pole dance with fucking ring boots on. I don't know. <laughs> this is coming from the one person who wanted to take pole dance. I, uh, I want to do a lot of things, okay? I like the idea I want to be an archer. I want to take archery lessons. I, I want to take horseback riding lessons. Yes. I want to take pole dancing lessons. Yes. You know how many things she's done? Zero. Zero. Well, all of that shit takes fucking money, okay? Money is not a problem. She thinks it's a problem, but it's not. She, this is the woman who's afraid to spend money. That's the problem. Okay, buy me guitar lessons. Done. Okay. You, 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 she has no idea the random bullshit I buy. Okay, fine. Whatever. I wanna, I, 
I would like to learn to play guitar. I really, music has been like a huge thing for me and the fact that I don't do anything in regards to that besides listening to music kind of drives me a little bit nuts. I love music and I have zero desire to ever play an instrument. I can't sing though. I have zero voice control. I can tell what I'm fucking, I just, nope. I love to sing, but I am tone deaf. So he's I'm sorry for everybody deaf. else, yeah, he's but I give no fucks. I'll sing anyway. I won't. I'm too embarrassed. I don't dance. I was I in choir sing. for three years. I'll dance. She says I dance like a dad. You do! Well, I'm, I'm like... I'm you like, might as well just go like this. No, no, no. See, I move to beats sometimes. That's not dancing, because that's, there's a difference between just moving to a beat when you're walking across the room with a coffee cup and dancing. <laughs> that's why you spill your coffee. Most likely. My dancing is is sitting. And but also, being like this. I don't know why I would get offended by dan. I mean, she says I dance like a dad, but I am a fucking dad. So like, who cares? <laughs> this, is, this is my extent of dancing. <laughs> See, I just find beats, but I find beats that aren't really there. I'll like find a beat, and then I'll do like a three beat of that beat. So like, nobody understands the beat I'm dancing to except uh, me. No, that explains so much. You've never said that before. If there's a beat going like this, I like to go oh one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. No, that explains... I'm not dancing to the beat you're no. listening to. I'm dancing to the beat I'm making up in my head. That explains so much, though. I've always wondered why the fuck you seem to be bobbing and uh, bobbing to not the beat. <laughs> it is a beat. Every third bop is the beat. Whatever. <laughs> because just doing this is boring, but this... I mean, I'm just, I have my music here. <laughs> Is way funner. No, and I'll and I'll change which beat about every twenty to thirty seconds. So I'll first I'll find this beat, and then I'll find this beat, and then I'll find this beat. But if you're watching me in a minute, you're like, this guy is fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, but I it's, just, but it's I not just, dancing. It's just I'm finding beats. I just like, end up. I well, can't dance. I end up. Well, I rock and rock. I love rock. But and I jazz. do have rhythm. I. I I rock in rocking chairs. I've never allowed myself to really dance, so I don't know if I. Well, I'm glad can. you that explains it to you. I'm not a, a lunatic over here. <laughs> You're totally a lunatic. Well, that's probably true, but. <laughs> no, I, I usually, when like beats drop or like metal music gets heavier or something, then I'm like, then I'm like, yeah, then I get into it, you know. Well, headbanging is fun, but it hurts as much as fucks my neck. That's as far days. as I go, typically speaking. Oh, okay. Or I like wiggle. In the chair, <laughs> that I'm, or I do this. I sit in rocking chairs and I just listen to music. I literally space out. I will put on music. I have like a certain type of music that I space out to, where I get like all sorts of visuals oh. and shit. That's when I like creating my artwork. I'm not sweating that. Sweaty. We're sweaty Ooh. people. So you don't want to get any more piercings? Are you done with piercings? I mean, I just don't know what left to get to pierce. I was getting. Yeah, I'm mainly. I got a person. piercing a month for almost a solid year, like twelve piercings. I could get my. Tongue I would like to do that with tattoos. I suppose I could get my tongue re-pierced, but. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a fan of tongue piercings. Yeah, I mean, just yeah, exactly. Like, that's, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, when am I gonna get pierced? I've had my labrae done since I was eighteen. Uh, Man, because I got this, so I can't really do the sides. It look weird, and I got this. I don't really want multiple ones. I don't want three. And I have to be symmetrical, so I couldn't do just one side. Dude, when I got my septum pierced, nobody had their oh, septum yeah. pierced. Like, nobody. nobody. Back in my day, Back in my day it um, wasn't common to have this shit. Though I stretched <laughs> it. I forget what gauge this is now. It looks like an eight. I had it at a six at one point, but I think I had a downgrade yeah, because the like hoop was to too me. big. I think it's an eight. Yeah. I think I stood on an eight. So I think it's the same one I've got downstairs. I know, and embarrassingly enough, Back in the day, my hair was long and black with blunt bangs across. And I've done lots of things to my hair in the interim, but now I've kind of returned back to that because, fuck, dude, it looks good on me. You know, it's literally just hair. I should do, I should like shave half, like one side of my head. Just fuck it. Yeah, I've, I've done a mohawk twice. It does not suit me at all. I just, the first time I was like, I was curious and I did it, but I had really long hair, so it couldn't really stand up. I usually like flipped it to one side. Yeah, you only and, stood it up like twice. Yeah, I tried. I just did twice. Yeah. yeah. Um, and He's and that one. first time I did, I decided I don't really have the head shape and face for it. It just didn't quite suit me. And then I well, years later, I was really stubborn because I really like them. 
and I did it again. She's still really stubborn. I am still really. Well, it started off where it was just an undercut on both sides over here. And then I was just like, hey, fuck it, I should do the whole thing again. And I did the whole thing again. And I stood it up again one time and then I just flipped it on one side. And I was like, I really That's should. That's when we're living with my bro, right? Yeah. And then I've tried to grow out my bangs a few times. I just don't like the way I look that it's much. just dye my hair, but I never know what color to go. I would do black, but then we'd look too similar, things. so we can't do that. I keep putting red in my hair. I don't know. Hair talk. <laughs> hair talk. It definitely needs a trim, though. Holy Lord. I, I went through a phase where I was just my natural hair color for years and years and years. And it's really funny because I've gone over to my family's this house. Is my natural. And they seem to be under the impression that my hair has been black all, almost all the time. <laughs> but, like... There were years that my hair was not black. In fact, I just re-dyed it black, like, what, a week ago? Not even, I don't believe. I did the whole bleached thing, but my hair broke off from that, yeah, so I don't I really need like... finger tattoos. Or I was also thinking of doing the tips red. I haven't done a fashion color in a long time. Mm. Last time I did teal, it didn't suit me. I'm, I'm like more of a red person. I don't think I've ever had orange hair. Right before we started dating, well, when and I'm, then I put a skunk stripe. Yeah, you had the skunk in. stripe. And, then, and also while we were dating, I'm the so best hair dye I ever did was done by a salon. Yeah, I've only done that. I did a, a did twice. a I did a blue black. So if my hair was black, but in the right lining, it would shimmer blue. Yeah, yeah. But there was weird red undertones in it. Oh, all the uh, black hair girlies out there know exactly what you're talking about. That's like the bane of their existence. To me, though, I, I look actually... look so good with it, though. Oh. I comment a red undertone with black hair. Oh, yeah. A lot of people hate it. My hair is black, and in the light, you see that, like, halo of red. I think it looks good on me. It's kind of cool looking, but a lot of people, they hate that. They try to get the blue black. And it's really hard to do because most people's hair has red undertones to it. Natural. I think my natural hair is just medium brown. I know there's definitely part of my hair that's not natural, and I can't tell if that's it or not. No, it, I can see where the line of the dye is on your hair. Yeah, it's like right other here. people can. Oh, so it's this, way up here. Yeah, so yeah, this, so this, is this actually natural. isn't down this, here. No, this isn't. Okay. That's just really, 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 really. It's really close faded. to mine. Yeah. Oh no, we've shifted. I know my battery died. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta re. I know that line was going right through my face. So it's that right was through your good. face. Yeah. yeah, I keep like, oh, I can't think about that. I got lines. And, and this green thing. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Used to wear a lot of jewelry. I now wear zero jewelry. Used to wear my wedding ring around a necklace. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I lost it. Like, seriously, my wedding ring's gone. I have no idea where it is. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, I don't even wear mine anymore. We should get tattoos together. I am not down with tattooed wedding rings. Not wedding ring tattoos. Oh, thank God. Fuck that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dude, I would, I would, no, I would I've actually been thinking about it. You, you know that sculpture in the living room of the two skeletons kissing? Mm. I like that idea. Oh, where would I put that? Yeah, I don't know where I would put that either. Maybe on my leg or something. Skeleton, I could put it like right there. Skeleton lovers kissing. Right there. On the legs. I'd even do it on my left side. Actually, I'm not down with that idea. You're not down with no, that? No, I am down with that. You I would, are to I would totally get that. You, too you am down with that. I am down? I am RN down? I am nerd down. No, down. No, I am R down. <laughs> you design a nice tattoo? I'll no, I'm not designing it. I will let a tattoo artist know. I know I'm an artist, but I hate doing that shit. Artist. Shut up. I've sold in galleries and things. I and... just like to poke the bear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All this shit behind me is my artwork. You did that? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really shown in years, but still, I'm still an artist, okay? I couldn't be further from an artist. Yeah, we established this kind of shit in, the, in that charcoal mm, video. That's right. Oh yes, it's right there. <laughs> There's a hair on it. Is there? No, 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 no. I got it. There's more than one. Will you stop shedding on my art? I should stop having it on the floor <laughs> where I'm like cutting my hair and shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't been into a slow. I do all my own hair and shit. I, I wish you people could sometimes. see this fucking chaos of monstrosity <laughs> no. over here. Jesus. <laughs> no. <Wow. laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, it's a mess. I need to clean in here really bad. <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm lazy. 
I'm lazy too. I am a procrastinator. You give me nine months to do something, I will do it four days before I'm supposed to. Okay, well that Can was we an end this? Yeah, uh, I don't know. That was an interesting little conversation. <laughs> it, was... it was supposed to be past, present, future. We kind of did touch on all mm. of that shit, but... You say that, but you said we were winging it, and then you pulled that straight out of your ass. I did. And then we kind of were bouncing around all over the place. <laughs> That's how our conversations go. Yeah, true. And I also interrupt a lot. It's a bad habit of mine. Yeah. I gotta work on it. It's weird because I'm like quiet. Like if you meet me in person. You should have met her when I met her. She wouldn't say a word. She had to learn to talk. <laughs> I was mute. No. <laughs> uh, and now depending on circumstances, if you were to meet me out and about in the world, I would still probably be most likely quiet. One on one or one with a couple people, I can get, if I'm comfortable, I get yappy. Oh, I was gonna say if there's a large group of people, I do become quiet still. It doesn't matter how many people are there, it matters how many of them I know. If there's a hundred yes. people and I know all hundred of them, I'm good. Nah. No, I don't know a hundred people. <laughs> well, yeah, you do. Acquaintances. Okay, yeah, okay. Acquaintances. Even if they were all in a room, though? I just threw out a hundred, though. I, Even like 30. No. no, man. If I had to, like, especially if all eyes were on me, holy shit. I'd be like... <laughs> Depends on the 30 people. If it was 30 people that I've known for 20 years, I don't give a shit. If I knew everybody in the room, I'd be less nervous, but I still would be. Anyway, yeah. She just needs to get better at talking into the camera. I'm gonna try streaming, dude. That will help. Should help. I, I, I did make an account on Steam, Steam, on Twitch, which I guess I'll link below if you want to follow me there. I... I have yet to get some of the gear I need to actually do it, so it won't be for a little while before, when I do do it. When I do do it. <laughs> but I do... You're like a child. Shut up. I do plan on doing it. <laughs> so if you want to, you can follow me there, and uh, please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.